Today is Thursday, September 5, 2024. It's almost 7.50 a.m. Eastern. Market opens in less than two hours from now. So currently in the pre-market, the spiders are at 5.50.84, 5.50.80 or so. And there could be some volatility today, some movement, just because they need to make, like the bulls need to make a decision to stay above 5.54. They haven't got above it and sustain closes above it. So if they've got some attempts for that today, then they're going to probably get pushed down. There's going to be some battles most likely because the timing is ripe for something bigger to happen. So I guess I'm just saying this for myself that if levels are hit, I want to have other good reasons to take trades at these levels. In fact, I'm not sure how much trading I'll get done. I might have a little bit of time in the morning, but I've got some meetings in the afternoon, so it'll be hit or miss. But we'll come back to this chart after the market closes this afternoon, analyze any trades taken in the futures after the based on the price action, the SPY, if they hit any of these levels. Catch you on the other side. The closing bell was yesterday. You might notice that this is the next morning. I just got in very late. Pretty much all afternoon I was busy and just decided to make the video this morning. So in the interest of time, I'm not going to adjust the levels. I'm going to talk through what you would have done at all these levels trading played by the rules because there were some trades today, pretty much a big wash. So I'll explain. So first of all, after 945, they were right below 551.70, and that would have given you a chance to go short here. Perfect base hit. I actually took a base hit, or I took a trade here. In fact, I'm not going to talk about my trades right now. We'll watch those because I recorded a couple in the morning. I'm getting ahead of myself here, playing by the rules. The first base hit was right here, a short trade when they came up into here after 15 minutes after the market was open and hit the 551.70 or 551.65. Either one would have worked. The next trade was up here at 553.82. So the high of this was pretty interesting. They got up to 553.80. So that's one of the reasons I like to add that five cent buffer just to grab trades when they when there's front runners that kind of miss miss the level. So in this case, that would have been a really nice base hit. I unfortunately was not at my computer. Had to shut down for a while. They came. So this these two levels are out of consideration at this point. Now you would take you could have the opportunity to take this level for a recycle trade on the long side actually i did it here um, so therefore i didn't do it here so that was your opportunity and since they bounced here this like that's you wouldn't take this one anyway because that was a kind of a an attempt whether you took this recycle trade or not i'm talking about here on the long side anyway so so far you know at least two base hits in the bag but when they got down here to 550 20 or 550 25 yes you would have gone long here and a reason why not but they got below this, below your fumble threshold before they got down to the next level. So you would have averaged in, given you a, an average entry price somewhere in this neighborhood. Now notice kind of where that's at. There's a bounce here later. So yes, you would have fumbled, given some points back. I think it was 11 points. Actually, I was a little bit late in reversing, so I gave a little bit more points than that. A base on the reversal, they kept, kept falling farther down. Didn't get all the way down here. On the way back up, you could have recycled this this. This level here, which was created by virtue of averaging in, if that makes sense. You bought here, you bought here, so your average entry price was right here. They came back into that ad average entry price. There is another trade right there. Took that one, actually. And then here you can go short again for recycle of this actual fumble area. And uh, that actually resulted in another fumble. But it was essentially a wash, like four and a half, five points or so out of the, on the reversal and then a base on the on the sorry, on the fumble and then a base on the reversal as they kept going higher. I know this is probably theoretically hard to understand without seeing it, but we'll watch the trades that I recorded. And then back down here, nothing to do because these levels had already been traded. So as you just look at it at a glance for the entire day, all these levels were important. It's just they kind of got on the other side of this one area here and kind of at least it messed me up. And so it ended in the red a little bit. But let's take a look at the, the live recording of my trades and some of this should make sense. Okay, first notice the time. It's before 9.45 in the morning, so 15 minutes had not passed, and I decided to go short the first time they got up into this level. Not something I usually do, just thought there's going to be a big reaction or a big enough reaction to grab a base hit, and it, that worked out pretty well, and I got a base hit on that with just one contract. I think I even got more than four points. Maybe I pulled it down to six. Yep, that's six points right there. So that's my first trade, and I think if you'd waited till to 945, as we've already seen, this would have still worked pretty well because that's where they found some resistance. All right, so then they're either going to come down here to 550.25 or they're going to go up to 553.77. And they attempted, 
I think the higher level first. Let's scrub ahead. Yeah. So I'm um, I had to I believe around 10:20 or so. So this will this will stop. I'm just going to pause this when it gets close to 10:20. Oh, and there's my recycle. So I told you I took this recycle trade for a quick base hit. So that's it right there in process. And there it is, satisfied. So at 10:20, this kind of disappears and goes to a later uh, later time of the day, like another 30, 40 minutes or whatever it was, close to 11 o'clock. I can't remember because uh, this. I missed the trade when they came up here this, the second time. Remember, it hit it within a penny or so, or it was eight, five fifty three eighty or whatever. I just moved this down a couple of cents. Anyway, so I missed this short trade, and I was already in this long trade down here, at eleven, after eleven o'clock. So that's why the it's going to just flash to the next next scene here. There we go. So missed this trade. Unfortunately, just mark this as done. This was not a trade that I took. I'd already had a couple of these base hits, but now I'm long two at this level, and they just kept falling. So this is really playing by the rules for the most part, although I did kind of jump out of that. Um, I reversed it kind of late, as you'll see. But I added to the position down here at 548.13, which is the adjusted level. I'll move this a little bit. So this is, you know, get out of the money more than I kind of like, but this is, this can be, this isn't typical, but this can happen. So... When I when this is reversed, it was like two thousand something dollars to the to the red. I got a base hit or more on the reversal. So you just kind of keep an eye on that, and you'll see I'm long. But when I did reverse, like I said, it was a little late. There we go. Now I'm short for expecting them to fall farther because they didn't get the bounce that I expected. This been nice. This whole average here would have pulled back up, and it did eventually, but just wasn't in the cards today to. To get this combined position, that would have been a pretty nice for a big long trade. So anyway, so you'll see this three contracts pull this back out for a little bit of profit, and then wash some of that out, and then uh, want to trail the other one farther down. But they came back up and stopped me out, so mostly a wash at this point, maybe negative. It's hardly anything, just a tick or so. Anyway, so they're back up to this average entry price, which is what I averaged in. This is what are roughly where it was. So I'm willing to sell again if they get there because oftentimes that works pretty well for a recycled trade. That's what I call those. And it worked actually. So see that happen. And I think that was the last trade I was able to take. And that red line up there in the futures here is just my line in the sand is my uh, fumble threshold if they get above here because I'm kind of basing it off. Yeah, there we go. So there's my base hit on that. And then it was around 1.30 or so, right before 1.30, I really had to pack up and I was gone for the rest of the day traveling a little bit and got in really late. So point is I didn't take this last trade here. So I ended in the red a little bit and I've done all the numbers. I can show you what that looks like in the, on the tracking log and then playing by the rules was a, pretty much a clean wash. Exactly. You would have gained 16 points. You would have given, given 16 points back total. So you can read the notes here. This is played by the rules log here, this first one. So this is all pretty accurate of what happened. Base hit, another base hit, um, averaging in 11 point fumble based on the reversal would have got a, um, a fumble on that recycle of the one I, never, I didn't take based on that. So really, this is where it came out to be. So yeah, before commission, so probably underwater because you would have had enough trades where you would have probably had, you know, I don't know, $15 or give or take on commissions because that's what I had because mine was negative $275. And effectively, I gained 9.75 points, but I lost 11 and a quarter across several trades. So this is the levels that were hit. I just didn't bother go into the detail, but that's what it was. It was kind of an average because it was, I had trades from like four trade, four contracts, two contracts, one con I mean, it was, it was a mixed bag here. So those were the trades. Uh, and that was the day, not, not spectacular, but now since it is Friday morning, I've got to do the work to get the levels for this morning, send those out and, uh, make a video. So I'm going to get on to that, but thanks for watching. Hope this was interesting. I know it was kind of an unusual day and unfortunately the levels didn't work perfect, but you know, you can pull yourself out of trouble if you know what you're doing. So I'm okay to end the, end the day in a little bit of well, below water a little bit um, because most of the days are going to be profitable. Just have to wait for those to happen. and They will come. So thanks again for watching. Catch you in tomorrow's recap video.